Hey guys, I just got back from Target and Dollar Tree and I'm excited to show you what I got. Welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. In today's video, I am doing another little haul because I found some really cute stuff and I'm excited to show you in case you want to go get it too. So I actually just got home from Target where I got this nice cute little sleeve in the dollar spot. It was $1 and it fits a nice venti Starbucks cup pretty nicely. So I'm excited about that because I have other cups that are this size and they tend to get a lot of condensation on the outside. So I was excited that I found this. They had other cute colors like summery ones, but this is the one that I like the best. So it works for me. And then most of the other stuff I got from Target is either for Aubrey or a few odds and ends from my family. So again, from the dollar spot, I got this cute little like mess-free marker image ink. So you pretty much color on the pages and they have little activities to do and you just kind of color it in and answer the questions and stuff like that. Obviously, Aubrey is a little too young for this, um, but she can still color and Juan loves the Minions, so I figured this would be a fun little activity book for them to do together. This was $3 from the little dollar spot. The next thing I got from the dollar spot was this cute little three-in-one zipped container. It's perfect for holding like bobby pins or other just small items. There is a little divide, but it's one zipper. So I was thinking of putting Aubrey's clips, Aubrey's little hair bands, and then some other type of hair band or whatever Aubrey needs that's tiny. And that way I can keep it all together without it all mixing up and it's nice and organized. And this was just $1 from the dollar spot. The next thing and actually last item I got from the dollar spot were these little marshmallow branch sticks. They are perfect for making s'mores and I thought they were cute. They're expandable as you guys can see here. They have a nice little handle. They were $3 from the dollar spot and I'm excited to use them when we go to the beach sometime soon. So the next thing is one of the reasons I went to Target in the first place. They were to pick up these Bunny Grahams birthday cake flavored. If you love Funfetti kind of yellow cake mix type flavoring, this you need to get. They are these tiny little cookies about this size on the box at least, probably not in the video. And you can have 31 cookies for 140 calories. I just had 10 last night for like a little snack and it was nice and you know filling it hit the taste buds just right so I had to go pick up these and they were the last two in my store so they're obviously pretty popular. This next find I was so excited and another reason why I actually went to Target was to get these. Apparently I think they're usually 79 cents but they were 50 cents a bowl or plate and they're nice and like plastic. I mainly got them for Aubrey so that she can have a regular size bowl or plate, but definitely not have to worry about it breaking. And I thought that the colors were really cute. They also had like a dark turquoise and a black, but I couldn't find any black plates. So I didn't want to get the black bowls as well. So I figured this kind of color combo worked. I love the pinks and like the darker pink, but I also wanted gray because that's kind of hopefully gonna be the theme of our next kitchen. Moving on to things I got for Aubrey. I got some three pound kinetic sand to put in our little, I don't know, play thing outside. I think she'll enjoy using that and it'll be a fun little activity for her. And then right now Target is having a sale on Melissa and Doug items. So if you spend $50, you get a $10 gift card. So. I just went shopping for Aubrey's birthday and for Christmas presents, kind of just to get ahead. She's in love with dentistry and being a doctor, so these were just perfect for her. Then this thing I actually got for our upcoming family vacation where we're gonna have like all the little kids together. I thought it would be fun to do a kids versus grown-ups little Pictionary game. Essentially, you use this pen to draw your des designated picture and like the kid cards have a little sketch of what you can draw and the adult ones don't. So it's kind of helps even out the playing field. And then using your app or your TV, you can actually see what the person is drawing. So it's kind of fun. I'm excited to give this a try and I'll let you guys know how it goes. So the last two things I picked up from Target were clothing for Aubrey. This piece was on sale for $4.99, so almost half off. I just thought it was a cute little shirt. And then the Cat and Jack bathing suits I really liked because they have snaps on the bottom. 
So she's still in diapers and I figured this would be a great way to change her diaper, like her swimming diaper if need be. And also when she gets older, if she still fits in it and if she's potty trained, she can easily use the restroom without taking off the whole thing. They had some other designs that I, I kind of liked better, but they were two pieces. And I don't know about you guys, but like little pieces for the girls, like I just kind of feel like they're pointless. They squeeze their bellies in a little too tight. And a one piece I think just works better, especially when you're little. And then yesterday is actually when I went to the Dollar Tree and I just picked up some crafting stuff, but it's so cute. I need to show you so you can go out and get it yourself if it is something that you think you'd want. So first and foremost, these little succulents, they have a magnet on the inside. I've realized in the past that some of them weren't super strong, so I took the magnet out and glued it to the back. But they can just be on your fridge. You can take these things out, replace it with something else. But I actually think that they look fairly realistic and I made a craft on my crafting channel. I will post the link up top if you guys wanna see how I made it. But it was really easy to make and super cute. And I used these guys. So when I saw that they had them back in stock, I grabbed obviously eight of them because I was just in love with how cute they are. Other crafting supplies, I got a roller cutter. We'll see how good this actually works a little metallic marker in white. I have some in other colors. Um, I also got this like kind of rose gold one as well, but I think I have silver and regular gold. So, you know, just kind of finish out the collection. Some Cricut tools, um, they look like they're gonna work just fine and it'll be nice to have just an extra set on hand. And then a little cutting mat because it's annoying to break out my big one all the time, especially when I'm working on just smaller projects. Then I also got some transfer tape, the store that I went to in a different haul video. Uh, they didn't have transfer tape there, so it'll be worth trying their transfer tape compared to maybe Cricut brand. And finally, I got some caulk because I have an idea on making like faux bricks, like a little faux brick craft, and I thought that this would be the perfect thing to use, so I will let you guys know how that goes. But yeah, I am really happy with this little haul. I spent obviously more money at Target because things are just a little bit more expensive there, but I think it will pay off. And I did get that $10 little gift card, so I can use that some other time. So it doesn't hurt so bad. And it's nice to know that like shopping is gonna be pretty much done in a little bit for Aubrey's birthday and I don't have to worry about it when her birthday actually is around the corner. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this little haul video. I hope that you guys got some inspiration from some of the things that I bought or just, you know, enjoyed it seeing my little face and seeing all the things that I bought. If you guys liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. That's okay. That helps me out as well. Subscribe if you guys are new. I would love to have you stick around and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.